Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about reconstruction of sample signal using ideal low pass filter. In the last class, we did think pair share activity and the activity was regarding the sampling theorem. We came up with an expression for the Nyquist frequency. So we had a continuous time signal x of t that is sampled using a train of impulses and it is done by just multiplying x of t with train of impulses you have another train of impulses whose amplitude is scaled by the amplitude of the continuous time signal x of t now uh, on the right side you can see the frequency equivalence of these signals x of f is the frequency domain representation of x of t uh, this shows that uh, x of f is it is a band limited signal it is it is limited from minus fm to fm uh, x delta of f is the frequency domain representation of x delta of t and uh, x s of f it is a sampled uh, signal sampled signals for a frequency spectrum so this multiplication in time domain it became convolution in frequency domain so when you are convolving a signal with an impulse you have the same signal displaced by an amount equivalent to where the impulse was for example the sampling this x of f with this impulse position that f equal to 0 you have the same signal here x of f uh, you have another impulse here so when you sample x of f with this impulse you have this signal x of f shifted by fs so you have the that signal here similarly this uh, train of impulses uh, the convolution of x of f with these train of impulses is going to give you the sample signal like this you will also notice that uh, the value of fs equal to 2 fm uh, the expression for the sampled signal was x s of t is equal to x of t into x delta of t x of t into x delta of t that is given by uh, this expression uh, sigma n equal to minus infinity to infinity x of nts into delta of t minus nts again there is an application of uh, uh, the uh, property of impulse here I'm not going to uh, go through that. We already dealt in last class. Now, how to reconstruct X of F from this sample signal? <clears throat> we observe that this sample signal, we have X of F and to, in, towards the right and towards the left, you have replicas of the signal X of F. So, we need only X of F. So in order to separate x of f from this uh, whole sampled signal or in order to filter out x of f alone from this uh, whole sampled signal x of f, the idea is to use a low pass filter. A low pass filter having the characteristic of a rectangular pulse and this rectangular pulse should cover the entire bandwidth from minus fm to fm so we'll see this uh, figure on the right side that is the example of uh, the low pass filter you can use in order to filter out x of f excess of f uh, again uh, in in frequency domain this looks very easy you have the low pass filter here and that low pass filter simply by multiplying that with this signal x uh, sample signal you get this portion alone but uh, in time domain the idea becomes more realistic let us see the frequency domain of this low pass filter is a rectangular pulse so the time domain you have a sync pulse you have a sync function so uh, 
the sampled signal x s of f it is getting multiplied with the rectangular pulse and it happens in frequency domain so in time domain this multiplication is going to become a convolution convolution of the sampled signal that is this expression convolution of the sampled signal with the sync pulse with the sync pulse because in time domain the pulse is sync so again applying the property of an impulse if you do convolution of sync pulse with this delta of t minus nts you will have that same function displaced by nts x of nts it is it is always constants as n takes on values from minus infinity to infinity you have x of nts taking on different values uh, of course only integer values it is a discrete uh, discrete in time so uh, here the function is del of t when you do a convolution of the sync pulse with this uh, train of uh, delta functions you will have the sync pulse shifted by t minus nts that also comes from the property of uh, an impulse convolution of a signal with an impulse so i have the expression here x of nt sync t minus nt divided by t uh let us see how to uh, visualize this uh we have the x of t continuous time signal here uh we have the sampled signal here i, I have uh, kept this just for a demonstration uh let us take an example for n equal to 0 let let this point this point be n equal to 0 so substituting n equal to 0 in this expression x of 0 into sync of t divided by capital t so x of 0 value of x of t at n equal to 0 and sync of t divided by t it is a sync function so at this point n equal to 0 you have the sync function multiplied by x of 0 so that is shown in this red color at next point n equal to 2 sorry n equal to 1 uh again substitute here x of uh, 2 1 t x of t x of capital t will be the value of this signal x of t at t equal to capital t that is this uh, must be the next value that getting multiplied by sync of t minus capital t by t so the next point n equal to 1 in that case uh, it is x of capital t getting multiplied with the sync function that is displaced by a value t minus capital t so at this point if this point is n equal to 0 this point will be n equal to 1 at this point this uh, sync pulse sync pulse gets shifted by t minus capital t it is multiplied by x of capital t the value of x of t at t equal to t so you have the second sync pulse here like this as n takes on different values x of nt will uh, keep on varying and also it gets multiplied with sync functions that are shifted versions based on the value of small n so we observe one thing from here that when you add all these sync functions you get back the original signal x of t okay you get the original signal x of t so this is how the reconstruction is done and uh, this is the famous interpolation formula uh, i hope you all understood this concept thank you for listening to me